hello 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 my people how is everyone doing i miss you guys so much i've been busy yes so this girl she has been super super busy i'm sorry for not posting as much as i should um if you're just joining this channel welcome to go to mimi hit the subscription button go ahead and subscribe if you've not done that and also go ahead and like and share and comment for those of you who are just subscribing thank you very much yeah we are at 1318 subscribers right now so thank you very much for sharing for liking for commenting and for subscribing okay thank you very much i promise i'll make it up to you guys i just have a busy schedule recently where it is taking my time away from you all okay okay so i want to talk about five business um ideas that you can um you can invest in in cameroon i know i have made a video some time ago ariel please tell me shut that door it's okay. distracting me the door is distracting me it's okay ariel she's going to do it so it's okay come sit some time ago i talk about if you look on my on my 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 channel you will see that there was a time that I talked about investing in um, Cameroon, right? Or Africa. Not necessarily Cameroon, but Africa. And then the last video I put up before this one, I was talking about investors looking at investing in Africa and why they should, or why you should, as an investor, invest in Africa. Every is mommy's turn to talk. Can you just listen? See, this sister is just listening. Do the same, okay? thank you my god so the first business type that if you invest in Af africa you're gonna get um a good turnover or you're gonna make a lot of profit would be agriculture like i said in my previous video agriculture uh, or the african land is very um fertile and you you have like it has a vast uh, uh um if you're distracting me a vast uh, of, of land right it's big you can you can do farming you can do agriculture you can also uh, rare animals pig from cattle all the way to um keeping poultry and all the other stuff every you have to wait let me finish my show okay so the african land is very fertile okay and most africans practice shifting cultivation where we we all know what and understand what shifting cultivation is yes there are places where they apply fertilizer but um most definitely not the very harsh one because i grew up seeing my mother using a lot of cow dung and um other animal poops as fertilizer and you know so the first business that if you invest in in Africa and it it's going to give you a good turn, turn out or profit is going to heal profit would be agriculture. And how can you go about this? All you need to do is, for example, I am from from Cameroon, so I know the land of Cameroon very well. I know the culture of Cameroon very well to an extent, not a whole lot, but to an extent because cameroon has 10 regions right and i'm just from one of the regions so i will be versed with um the region where i am from right so what you can do as an investor or someone looking into investing back home what you can do or someone looking into investing in africa and i'm not speaking only to those who are from africa but for to anyone who is interested in investing in africa right so now if you choose agriculture maybe you choose farming for example um you can pick a particular type of crop and you invest in that crop let's say you have a, 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 a an investment capital of say ten thousand dollars right when you convert that money to cfa francs it could give you about six million cfa francs depending on the exchange rate right or whatever currency you have it just depends on the exchange rate of the the country where you are choosing to do your agricultural um investment or business right and now you can 
you can begin by searching the market what is the common cash crop of that country let's say you pick cameroon what is cameroon's um cash crop or cash product that are kind of like really really uh, uh um really available or that is really in high demand by the people of that place because remember you are doing business in that place maybe you'll be exporting it down the road or your aim is to begin exporting it to other african countries and even maybe internationally so if you are choosing agriculture you first want to check out the country and then take a particular region some crops will do well in some some regions or do better in some regions than other regions right so let's say for example you take um a place like um let's do ndop for example i am from ndop ndop is known for rice rice cultivation and corn and peanuts that's granite now when you pick a a, a place that um has cash crop or produces lots of rice peanuts corn and peanuts is granite corn and beans right now you want to um find a land meet somebody who is from that place right you get a piece of land nowadays you can rent a piece of land for as long as you would be paying be able to pay and sustain the land right you can rent a land or you can buy a piece of land and then you look inside the place now they do rice peanuts um they also do corn and beans right and even cocoa yams and other products but what ndop is commonly known for is for the ndop rice that stands out a lot now if you pick to uh, or if you choose to do or to to farm the to grow the ndop rice for for business what happens is after choosing your piece of land you get workers you get farmers that will, will do that you hire a manager there are so many graduates out there looking for a job you hire a business um uh, an mba graduate and put them in charge of that business while you are here and they are farming or doing the job for you while you are wherever you are right and then you make sure that in your budget for investing you also have um uh, you have put aside some money for um, salary for those who are working for you right so today um i'll just give you this is just a tip of an iceberg we'll talk about just this agriculture for today and then as the day goes by uh, goes by we will be talking about other um things where you can invest in right so just find someone in any african country that you're most comfortable with Check out the cash put, uh, the cash crop of the region where you want to um, do your um, farming investment or business, and then ask make a lot of re research. Do a lot of research before um, uh, uh, venturing in a business that you are not gonna be present there. You have to do a lot of research. You have to trust a lot of people before you um you you get into the business right you want to find someone that you really trust with your money before you get into the business do a lot of research check about the the political stability check about inquire about getting the piece of land how is that crop um valued at when it when it's grown and everything that has to do with from the beginning to the end of that product reaching the hands of the final consumer okay so today we talked about the first thing or the first idea to invest in africa if you are an african or you're someone looking into investing in the future in africa is agriculture african land is is very rich right and very vast too and it's fatal so and it's available by renting or by buying either way you can always secure yourself a very good piece of land you choose your location and then you hire people that will work for you thank you very much keep an eye out for the next idea that you can invest in in africa and you will become a millionaire if you've not subscribed go ahead and hit the subscription button and Turn on the not notification bell so when I post videos, you'll be able to see them. 
Thank you very much. Okay. Be good to yourself. Be good to the people around you. What goes around comes mm -hmm. around. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. 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 Bye.